two or three part series called Investigating Logan Paul's Biggest Scam. And like many on this platform, you have successfully used my name for views and money. While your work used to be impartial, your addiction to clicks has clouded your judgment and you've made very real errors with very my real teeth. repercussions. Coffee, you took a shot at my reputation. Uh, so in this video today, I'm gonna be defending myself with facts, something that you have gotten in the habit of twisting as you continue to morph from an investigator to a gossip channel. You see, CoffeeZilla tried to work with law enforcement in the past, but his work was described as not anchored to truth and often speculative. He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, and he's nothing more than the keem star of crypto and finance. But as opposed to just what a shot, Jesus Christ. Telling you, I'm gonna show you some of the core discrepancies that I caught in CoffeeZilla's investigation. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage Yo. for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other for, surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. Who will be calling Z here? I guess among many things, it doesn't surprise me that he lied about having 30 engineers and a $50,000 a week burn rate. On my end, I have 30 engineers, I'm burning 50000 Yeah, wait, that's your employee. <laughs> wait, I'm so confused. That's Lily's employee. What's going on here? He's, he's shitting on himself for hiring this guy. Like, what? Which side note is how this delusionist landed on the million dollar code ransom, but it turns out he only had three engineers. Wouldn't someone with journalistic integrity know their credible source had not only an agenda, but a fondness for orange jumpsuits? Or did you just hear what you wanted to hear and moved on? Because even if you're lying to yourself, Steven, you still have to believe it. And I know what you're thinking, what type of idiot would work with an unsavory individual like Zach Kelling? I guess that's what I get for trusting the team that I relied on to vet and manage Eddie's hiring process, who has turned out to be a professional con man that I have since learned fooled billionaires, the Mormon church, the owner of the New York Yankees, and now me. And surely you knew- I mean, Chad, if you didn't follow along with the story, he like, uh, that guy, <laughs> has a, he just looks so old. To Emilio, the gentleman who supposedly let his child in. I'm not even going to talk about any of this stuff, honestly. You, I'm just going to sit here while you watch the video. I'm not going to say anything. There's new year, new me. You just watch. You know, I'm going to do what Hassan does when he reacts to this kind of stuff. You ready? Best in a cryptocurrency was allegedly responsible for two rug pulls before you interviewed him. So either you missed that or you knew it and failed to let the public know. Why? Because it was a clear sign that he was also untrustworthy. You seemed pretty excited when the guy told you that he couldn't hatch the eggs. Wait, you can't even hatch? Wait, on, no, Jeff. I'm telling you, just... It's the picture. You're kidding! You can't hatch? You're kidding! You can't hatch? You can't hatch? Uh, yeah, one second of research would prove that to be false, as you can definitely hatch eggs and even breed your animals. Click on that. Oh, we got a duck! And as you pointed out in your fine print, cross-hatching was available on ETH at one point, but you perpetuated the opposite as truth with your chest out. Basically nothing. How do any of you guys watch React content with me? Because honestly, I'm just too ADHD to do anything nowadays. You can sit there, Punky. Meow. All right, let's get... I didn't even listen to the past minute. Hold on. To let the public know. Why? Because it was a clear sign that he was also untrustworthy. You seemed pretty excited when the guy told you that he couldn't hatch the eggs. Wait, you can't even hatch? No, I'm telling you, it's just a picture. You're kidding. You can't hatch? You're kidding. You can't hatch? You can't hatch? Uh, yeah, one second of research would prove that to be false, as you can definitely hatch eggs and even breed your animals. Click on that. Oh, we got a duck. And as you pointed out in your fine print, Fuck yeah, duck. was available on ETH at one point, but you perpetually. Here's what I don't get, chat. I do not get this about Logan Paul. And, and and can you under can you make me understand why I, I don't get this about the guy? He makes millions and millions and millions and millions and millions a year. He's super successful. He's, you know, got it all. What I don't why would he do a cryptocurrency? I don't get that. It, it, greed? Like, bro, what? You're so rich. I'll be honest with you, chat, like the the prime. Prime is, looks like, the way it's going, I mean, energy drinks and stuff like that always fail, but it, it could be a billion dollar company.
like straight up that that easily could be prime one day can be sold for a billion dollars yes do you know how, have you guys seen how crazy people are for prime it's fucking nuts they're obsessed and i know you guys are like not anymore bro yes they are i i go look up videos they're I wish my chat was like Hassan's right now. Where you guys click things, show, I have links ready immediately. But uh, KSI is still fucking loved to the brim. And I mean, he it's it's still huge. Is this actually something? No way. <laughs> this is what I get when I ask for, for some help. Are you fucking kidding me? This is me without Prime. You see what it's like? Everyone over here is drinking Prime. Like, this is fucking me over here by myself. Situated the opposite as truth with your chest out. Wait, what did Tips say? Wait, Tips out? Who's that? Starforge is greater than Prime. That's right, Tips. Starforge is greater than Prime. Thing worked. And by the way, guy, almost all NFTs are just pictures. No, oh, it's just a picture. And surely a real internet detective would not break criminal and civil laws in trying to get information, right? So why have you allowed the illegal recording of Okay, so chat, calls? this this is this is this is prime right now. This is people trying to get prime right now to get the just this energy drink. This is how popular it is. It's, it's, it's all over the place. And I think it's a lot of it's KSI. KSI's energy drink prime hydration deal worth billions overshadows Dwayne The Rock Johnson's energy drink. Dude, we need to, yo, Dwayne, sponsor me. I'm telling you, I'll help you out here. I'll help you out. I mean, chat, yeah, it's UK. What else do people in the UK have to be excited for besides some stupid energy drink? They have nothing. Like, of course they're excited for it. Some stupid shit. Oh, I'm scared to open up Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is what I saw. Jesus. It's so sad that this is all they have to be excited about is some prime energy drinks. When... This is why, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, if only Starforge PCs were in the UK and the EU. Like, I'm. it's really sad that they just have to cling to these primes that they don't want. It's so sad. It's so sad. Why am I so close up? It's so sad. Let's keep going back. Permission. And then more like an internet criminal, post it online. And it was interesting. It was like... Oh shit, Jeff. Now, although you didn't verify any backgrounds, substantiate any evidence, took multiple criminals' words as truth, and broke laws, you still published the defamation. However, unlike you, the blockchain doesn't lie. So let's highlight some things that you did point out. Crypto King Jake stole $6 million. True or not, we had already removed him from the team when we realized he was a bad actor and his motives were purely financial. Con Man Easy clap. lead developer stole 1.7 million. True or not, when we learned he was a bad actor as well, he was immediately removed from the team. While myself and Jake- Logan Paul seems like a really good guy. Jeff sold nothing and made nothing as verified through investigation and the blockchain. Jeff, Logan's manager, to my knowledge, never sold. Neither did Logan Paul. I repeat, Jeff and I made no money and will never make any money on CryptoZoo. In fact, we only lost money trying to pick up the pieces. False. You made this video. You just made money on the video. You're lying right now to your audience, and this is why you're a problem. As has been the case with dozens of crypto and NFT projects, the space is unfortunately ripe for bad actors to infiltrate projects that start with even the best. I got him, chap. Jake the Snake is no longer affiliated with CryptoZoo, and we hope the money he reappropriated was worth ruining his reputation. Con man Eddie is being investigated by a higher authority that I cannot speak on. As you can imagine, I was not cleared from legal to discuss much of this, including the legal process being undertaken and the criminal investigations going on during the fallout, but I do appreciate you calling out that rats under my nose stole the game code, millions of- I love how he keeps using like these like really shitty Photoshop jobs of, of CoffeeZilla to make his audience go like, oh wow, oh sh 
wow, this guy's a, a loser. Dollars and left Jeff and I abandoned with no team and knives in our back. But even after 12 months of work, you've still managed to overlook one crucial piece of information. See, even though I've said it's coming so many times, you've assumed that CryptoZoo isn't being made. Who are you to decide when the development timeline ends? I got everything stolen from me and our community, stopped promoting publicly as soon as I knew the extent of the internal issues, took all of the heat on social, and you still published a defamatory hit piece fully knowing I was innocent just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, but deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. And maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Will they do it in the court where Asma can react? Is the question. I think that's what you're all thinking right now, including myself. Will it be public? And will it be good content? Because the answer is yes. Who would win? I mean, I feel like Logan has so far really said nothing that I'm like, okay, this guy's... I feel like CoffeeZilla is not going to lose. I, If that were to be the case, I feel like CoffeeZilla would... Am I right? Logan Paul's not winning this. Is it defamation? I mean, I don't even fucking know. Yo, old fat, thank you for the 10, 10 gifted subs, buddy. I forgot, chat. Uh, we can watch the videos, honestly. I, I would totally watch. I only watched the second and third one. I, I Literally, to me, in my opinion, that was some of the best YouTube content I've seen in years. It was so well done. It was so well done. But I, I'm assuming everyone on Twitch has already reacted to it like 50 times. Wait, is Logan Paul actually suing? If you expect me to see every DM that comes through from every social media gossip channel trying to make a name for themselves, you're ridiculous. And I, like I said in my email, you scrub the blockchain for a living and somehow managed to text my personal phone number yesterday. I can't imagine you didn't know slash have any professional email. Let's finish the video. We could have talked about this if you had reached out to me personally, not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven. But the first time you did was on Christmas Eve after you released your series so you could rely on false statements and unreliable people used recklessly. The subject line was third request for comment. Yeah, not quite. This will be my third time reaching out to you and your team. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. Okay, so the last time on Christmas Eve, after the fact was to me, you have a funny way of twisting things. And I also noticed you left out that part on Twitter. Why hide that? Trust me, CryptoZoo is coming. I will make damn sure of it. And honestly, it f sucks that after years of personal reform, going through trials and tribulations and busting my ass to evolve into a person that I can say I'm actually proud of, you led the charge to drive and monetize a narrative telling millions of people that I'm a fraud or I tried to scam my audience. That is patently false. This video is mainly for my fans and anyone who's on the fence that I hope I can help understand a situation that is... I just don't know why he would even make CryptoZoo in the first place. Like, that's what the, that's the thing that bothers me. It's just like, why would you make it in the first place if you did... Like, it's just such a stupid idea. And the answer is just money. So, like, I, I mean, like, I'm, it's it's... There's no, it's not like it's a good for the world. Like his, what was that even? The, remember he did the 99 photos around the world or something like that. Um, like that was a kind of a weird thing, but I kind of got it. Like it's, it's still NFTs, but this is just, why would you fucking make this? Isn't this just gambling? But with NFTs, they got a fucking duck, three ducks in a row. Like I didn't even understand it.
It's a rug pull. I just don't know why he would make this in the first place. He's like, oh, I care about my, my, you know, my bullshit. Just such a stupid thing. I'm buying it. Just letting you guys know. And we're playing it on stream. It's tremendously complex, but has been oversimplified for both views and clicks. And lastly, CoffeeZilla. <laughs> I... Okay, like, what the fuck is that? Dude's out here looking like a bored ape. Like, what the hell was that? What was the point? Now know your motives with this. Clout and money, good for you, but also your your slimiest. So I'm not going to come on any of your podcasts. If you want to come on Impulsive and talk about this, that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. It can be a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if not, we're going to handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. Twenty twenty three, twenty four, yeah, maybe. <laughs> What the fuck's 20, 23, 24? Uh, we don't know. Whatever. Whoa.